Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kaylee. I'm David. And today we are camping at Garibaldi Lake. And hiking up to Panorama Ridge for sunrise. This has been a bucket list hike for us for a very long time. We lucked out with amazing conditions and we cannot wait to share it with you. So this hike has been on our bucket list for so many years. Today, we are hiking to Garibaldi Lake. From the parking lot up to Garibaldi Lake campground is nine kilometers and 900 meters of elevation gain. And it'll be interesting to see how long it'll take us. We have passed a ton of people already though. I know this hike is popular, but pretty crazy. Tomorrow on Saturday, it's gonna probably be packed full of people. If you're looking to do Panorama Ridge in a day, it's gonna be about 30 kilometers and 1600 meters of elevation gain. Surprisingly, I think a lot of people do it, but we'd rather spend a night up there, take a little bit more time. I mean, if we had the time, we would uh, probably do like a couple nights. We are here. We're tired. <laughs> We're gonna just walk three more kilometers to the campsite. Minimal elevation gain, which is what I like to see. This trail has actually been really nice. Um, I just pushed it a little bit too hard at the beginning and now I'm tired. <laughs> How many have we walked? Six so far, three more to go. We gained about 800 meters of elevation over the first six kilometers. So the last three should be pretty chill with only 100 meters to go. <sighs> On a spot, there are at least 50 sites here, which is a lot. There's a ton of bathrooms, there's a ton of shelters. It's probably one of the nicest backcountry campgrounds we've ever stayed at. Super nice. Yeah, and there's even the wooden platforms, which we've never slept on one. No, it'll so, be. So this will be a nice treat. Yeah, it will be really nice. Yeah. There's not really any with a full lake view. There's like a couple down closer to the lake, but yeah. everything's kind of up on the hill in the mountains. Yeah, we right. can see the lake from yeah. ours. A little bit of blue shining through. Tent, supper, possibly fishing. <laughs> Such a handy little um, pump that we have. It's, this is the flex tail, right? Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. One of these days we're gonna do a gear review, but we spent a lot of time narrowing down the stuff we like and it uh, really works well. Tip for an air mattress too, you don't want to fill it up all the way. You actually want to have some room to sink in. It'll be a lot more comfortable. After we set up camp, we ate dinner and then headed to the lake where David fished and I read for a few hours. It is so beautiful here. It is currently 8 o'clock. 8.30. Mm -hmm. It's 8.30. We're checking out 3 a.m alarm tomorrow morning yeah really looking forward to that three o'clock ready to go let's do it it's really early so this morning we are hiking from Garibaldi Lake Campground to Panorama Ridge for sunrise it is about 7.5 kilometers each way with 700 meters of elevation gain. Stop for a little granola bar break. Mm -hmm. Four and a half K to go. <laughs> I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Excited to get up there and make some coffee. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit cloudy, but you never know, it might clear up. We can see some stars. <laughs> <sighs> Made it guys, two and a half hours, seven kilometers, 700 meters of elevation. The sun is starting to change. 
the clouds are gone just stunning absolutely stunning oh yeah couldn't have asked for a better morning my gosh We made some coffee and breakfast on top of Panorama Ridge and hung out for a few hours when we were finally ready to say goodbye to the beautiful view and began hiking down. We noticed a fantastic view out over the meadow and mountains on the other side of the ridge. We are on our way back down to the lake. Sunrise was insanely worth it. Yeah. It was so beautiful. Now the plan is to have some I don't even know what to call it. We've been off for seven hours already, so I feel like it's lunch, but it's nine o'clock, so. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be probably 10 o'clock by the time we get done. So we like some brunch, we're gonna, band noodles. We're gonna eat and it is hot. So we're definitely probably gonna go for that swim now and chill for a bit and then hike the 9K out. If you are questioning whether or not to do this bit of the hike for sunrise, we would 10 out of 10 recommend sure waking up at 3 a.m sucks but <laughs> now it's like 9 30 and we're done and we're had it all to ourselves for hours i think we saw two other people up there yeah and now there's we've already passed like i don't know 50 people going up yep. so sunrise for the win we are all packed up on our way out nine kilometers left to go we're pretty gassed yeah it's a big day <laughs> like it turns out to be yeah if you want to book a campsite, it's a gorgeous campground. It's not very expensive, but it is super competitive. So if you have a weekend that you want to book, be sure to hop on there right when it opens in like January, February. We got lucky. We booked our campsite last weekend. Yeah, keep an eye out for cancellations if you can't uh, get the one that you're after right away. Mm -hmm. The trail in between the parking lot and Garibaldi Lake is probably the busiest trail that we have ever hiked on. There's <laughs> so many people. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we are tired <laughs> so if we were to do this again which could definitely possibly happen this is one of the best hikes we've ever done for sure it was worth yeah. every kilometer we would stay two nights at garibaldi lake and just to break up the hiking because it was probably just a little too much today we're super happy that it worked out though and yeah so book two nights yeah know. some people do this in a day and honestly guys like we hiked 24k today and we are beat yeah so yeah <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are into hiking and exploring the canadian rockies we have a guide that covers yoho jasper banff kananaskis and kootenai so we'll leave it in the description below check that out it's an awesome guide yeah if at this point you're watching the video and we also have a Vancouver and area guide, we'll link that mm -hmm. below. We don't have one of those out yet though. Yes, Maybe we just haven't spent enough time out here, but we're definitely gonna be spending more time out here in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, found it useful, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. See you next week.